Hey guys, it's Bice Hope here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 15.1 Developer Beta 1 has been out for nearly a week as of today. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a quick follow up, additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for several days. I also want to talk about battery performance and bugs as well. So if you're excited for iOS 15.1, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so that you do not miss the next episode. The first thing I want to do is give you guys a quick recap for iOS 15.1 Apple has re-enabled SharePlay. Now, as you may remember, SharePlay was delayed. Apple said it will be coming to the iPhone with future software updates, and hopefully it will make the final release for iOS 15.1. So Apple has re-enabled it. I've been testing it. It seems to be working just fine as of right now, but it was working fine before. I'm not sure why Apple did delay the software uh, or the feature for the software, but here it is. SharePlay is enabled. It's working fine. I can share movies, TV shows, audio, even the screen of my iPhone with another user on a FaceTime call and it's working perfectly fine. So Apple has re-enabled SharePlay, of course, with iOS 15.1. Now, another thing that Apple has added that's entirely new is immunization records for COVID-19 can now be added to the wallet. Now, this particular feature isn't out for everyone just yet. Apple is rolling out the feature slowly. Uh, states throughout the United States are adopting this feature slowly. And I'm hoping that by the time iOS 15.1, the official final release is out, we have at least 40 to 50, all 50 states on board with this. This one, I think this one is a very important one. Again, something entirely new immunization records for COVID-19 can now be added to the wallet of your iPhone. Now, as I mentioned, there's also additional new features and changes that I've come across after using iOS 15.1. For example, if I'm wearing my AirPods Max and I have spatial audio enabled, as you can see right here, the description for spatial audio is spatial audio is on, obviously. So now if we go, this is the previous beta, this is the new beta. Take a look at the new beta. You see that animation? It is moving right there into center. The description is slightly different right there. Head tracking instead of this we now get this right here, an animation and a different description. Something minor, but definitely something that is new within the latest beta. Now, another thing that's new is a new icon for announced calls. Now, if you have the phone call and the FaceTime incoming call announced calls enabled, you have a new icon enabled in the settings extension. This icon is entirely new. As you can see right there, it is red with the phone in the center and on Face ID uh, audio announced calls, we also have a new icon as well. Now, aside from that, something that I also wanted to mention that I have not mentioned yet was there's a new watch face. We have a new world time watch face available. Now, this isn't particularly new to this beta. I just wanted to mention this because I did fail uh, to share this one with you guys within the latest betas. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about, as I mentioned, is bugs, performance, and battery. Now, first, I want to talk about the battery because running on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max, I have to say battery is fantastic iOS 15 batteries performing rather well now if you do have issues with battery I've heard that some users have completely restored their devices a fresh wipe install of iOS 15 should address the situation uh, things seem to be going well on 15.1 beta 1 however in regards to uh, performance and bugs there is a major bug that Apple should be addressing soon with a minor software update maybe we'll see iOS 15.0.1 this week as early as this week because there's an issue with iPhone iPhone 13 not communicating with Apple Watch. If you have the mask detection feature enabled on their face ID and passcode and you're trying to unlock your iPhone while you wear a mask, there's an issue where your iPhone just simply doesn't recognize that your Apple Watch is on your wrist that many users have reported on this particular situation. And uh, that's one of the things that Apple needs to address. Again, we could see iOS 15.0.1 before iOS 15.1 for Apple to address this situation, but it is still an ongoing bug on the latest is 15.1 beta 1. Now there's also minor issues with app compatibility. As I mentioned before, you want to make sure you update all your applications as they become available. I've noticed that some widgets for certain applications will not load after updating to iOS 15 or 15.1 beta 1, and that is common. Hopefully developers will continue to update their applications. So just keep in mind there's an issue with uh, iPhone 13 owners having issues with their iPhones not recognizing Apple Watch for mask detection, and there's issues with the widgets in certain applications not working properly within the latest beta, which is to be expected. Now, one thing you guys have 
have been asking for me to do is benchmarks to compare to next betas, right? So beta one right now, the single core score is 17 to 21 and the multi-core score is 46 83. Once Apple drops the next beta, iOS 15.1 and beta 2, I'll be sure to cover it for you guys. And speaking of beta 2, we can expect Apple to release the next beta within two weeks, right? So we see the first beta on the 21st last week. We can expect the next beta October 4th or 5th. And this week, as I mentioned, we could see an official release of iOS 15.0.1 to address the issues with communication, Apple Watch, and iPhone 13 models not recognizing the Apple Watch for mask detection and that about brings an end to this quick video guys just a quick recap battery is pretty good there's minor bugs and of course new features and changes within ios 15.1 let me know if you're running the software in the comments down below and if you're having any issues with ios 15.1 developer beta 1 or ios 15 in general thank you for watching this episode and i'll see you guys on the next one peace